The stats don't lie, and every year more than 700,000 people sadly take their lives. Now you've clicked on this video because you want to escape the 9 to 5 rat race. And why wouldn't you? Let's face it, the commute in, stuck in the same place and the same desk over and over repeatedly to get a maximum an hour of lunch break and then back to it for the commute home. Every day, five days a week. It's draining, we know that. And then we get to the weekend and people choose to drink. Drink away their problems, drink Friday night, drink Saturday night, wake up Sunday morning feeling groggy, have that anxiety on a Sunday, feeling tired, back to work on a Monday just to do it all again. And it sounds like it's a nightmare, but it's very real. On my channel, I predominantly talk about all things mental health. I feel like I'm in a good place to do this because I've lived experience living with lifelong bipolar, I've had depression, I've been through psychosis, and I, now I feel stable like I've made a full recovery. But one of the big things that led to my downturn was stress and the workplace environment. In the height of my mania and psychosis, I decided to quit my job in the corporate world. When I quit, I was unemployed, I had £20,000 worth of debt, I was having government support, so it's called universal credit in the UK. No job, didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew I was in a difficult position with that debt and things on finance. It's stressful and it's very normal for people to have things on finance, like a nice car, bags, watches, shoes, trainers, these things where you just live paycheck to paycheck and you can split payments over three payments like Klarna and Clearpay and bits and pieces like that. That's very normal in today's world. So I chose the lifestyle of having this nice car and that nice car. I had a BMW 4 Series that was worth about 20 grand and then I had a Merc which was again about 20 grand. And I didn't need it. There's a saying, we buy things we can't afford to impress people we don't like. And it's true. But how do we get out of this cycle to start your own business? Well, I've written down a plan and it works because I've followed it. I've done it, the proof's in the pudding, but it takes a lot of discipline, but you can do it. So before you go and quit your job, the important thing is to start clearing off those debts. Clear those off. It may take you a year, may take you two, may take you three. But if you want to do this, that is a very important step. We have to start with personal finances. And you may not have any debt, which is great. You may just be living paycheck to paycheck. So let's say when the debt's clear, if you've had debt, or if you're at a point when you have no debt, the next important step is to build up an emergency fund. So what's an emergency fund? So emergency fund is a pot of money that's used for emergencies. And how much do we need to make this emergency fund? Well, whatever your income is monthly, say it's 1,500 pounds, $1,500, it's important to multiply that by three or six. Six if possible, three will be a bit tighter, but a minimum of three is important. So what this three to six months pot of money will do is it's your backbone. So if you don't get any money coming in for three to six months, you know you're covered because you've got that money there. And that can obviously cover rent, food, lighting, bills, whatever you've got, phone bill. So we know now if we are to quit our job, We've got three to six months income there. However, I still wouldn't recommend you quit your job. What I'd suggest is carving out an hour of your day. So that might be before work. It may be in your lunch break, on the commute, after work, late in the evening. If you want to do this, take an hour out of your day. It's not much to ask where you either learn a skill or you start a side hustle. You start doing the thing that you're planning to do when you leave now. But one of the main struggles is knowing exactly what to do, what to choose to do. So I would narrow this down. So an easy one to go is, are people already coming to you, asking you for things? It may be like help on the computer. It may be help with gardening. You may be good on the camera, something like that. If someone's coming to you already asking questions, they probably see you as an expert already. So that's a great place to start because you know that if someone's coming to you once a week, People are coming to you a few times a month. You can charge for that. Another thing to consider is what do you enjoy? Obviously, because nowadays with social media, tech, we can make money pretty much with anything that we enjoy. There's some way of monetizing it. You'll have time to learn. Doesn't matter if you're an expert in that field. Just think about what you enjoy and what you may want to do long term, regardless of the income. That will come later on. And once you've picked something, don't worry if you're not 100% certain on it. 
you can change it and adapt it as you go. You can learn new things. You can change the path you're on. That's absolutely fine. I do it all the time, every week pretty much. And with business, you don't need to invent something that's never existed before. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. You just need to do something well and offer something a little bit different or a little bit better than someone else already is. But then you might be thinking, why would someone pay you when there's someone out there that's got a lot more experience and you're starting from scratch? Well, you don't. You don't charge anyone. You start by doing something for free. And I know that might think, oh, it's a waste of time. But say you're a gardener, you start a gardening business and you just you say to like two or three people, like, yeah, I'll do your garden for free. I know it might take up some of your time that you think is valuable, but it will allow you to gain experience, go through the process from start to finish, and you may be able to build up some reviews and testimonials for your business, which is a great start, a portfolio, get some pictures on a website. These are all really important things. And then after you've done it two or three times for free, don't go in and just charge full price. Just do it for really cheap. Do it for like 25% of the cost. And all of a sudden, once you're doing it for 25% of the cost, you've started your own business. And that's an important thing to remember. You've then got your own business. You've done it. And then you just need to build it up from there. But you may be thinking like, that's not much to get by, like 25% here and there, like my bills and overheads are high. Yep, that's fine. You can always, if your emergency fund is draining low, you can go like, right, maybe I'll get a part-time job at the same time. So you can, could go and work in a supermarket, a little cafe, a pub, two or three evenings a week, something like that. If you want this, put that time in and slowly in the background, the business will start to build, but the important thing is that you stay patient. I can tell you now there'll be times when you think, this isn't worth it, like there's no money in this. But just keep chipping away, I promise you, things will come about, word of mouth will spread, and things will come full circle, and people will start recommending you, and things will all be okay. At an absolute minimum, give something a year, and after two years, you'll start seeing that things are slowly working if you're putting the time, effort and energy and taking pride in what you do. And you'll get weeks and you'll get months which are better than others. But when you do have those great months, it's important to take some of that money and put it in your savings, cover it for a rainy day because there will be times of uncertainty. You may have a really busy time. The next two or three months, you may have nothing at all. But just keep grinding, keep going. And there are a lot of bullshitty videos out there that are clickbait, people claiming to be millionaires. I'm not a millionaire. I'm just happy that I've moved from a life where I didn't feel like I had much freedom to now I can work whenever and wherever I like. And I earn enough and the future's bright because I know if I keep doing what I'm doing, income will just keep coming in, word of mouth will keep spreading and I'm happy. So that's the main thing, isn't it? And if you're still here, just before I go, I wanna wish you a huge amount of luck and send you love. You've got this. You can do it.